Welcome to the Mind Sanity Podcast. What's up, guys? My name's Eric, a.k.a. Azrael Trinity, and welcome to the Mind Sanity Podcast. With us today, Gray Walker. Hello. And Banjo Bates. Hello there. And today, a lot of stuff on the topic list. Uh, first and foremost, server news, of course. Uh... We have a new member on the pot or on the server rather, not on the podcast. He wasn't able to make it for some weird reason. Uh, Cubed Melanator uh, is our new newest member on the server. Um, His first video will be down the link down. Yep, uh, he's yep. already done a server tour with uh, Graven Banjo. Yep. And, and uh, before, before any of you ask, yes, it sped up. That took us an hour to get through. So. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, what was his reaction to the amusement park? Just out of curiosity. He thought it was another spawn. Yep. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. We, I made both of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, um, you, all... you got to get the uh, the uh, post office remade. No, I, um... Grave actually suggested a good idea. I think we're we're gonna just tear it down, and then we're gonna tear down the walls inside of the. Uh, Got uh, out the uh, trading post. The trading post, and just turn the trading post into the post office. Mm. Since you know it'll never be used. Yeah, <laughs> now no, we used. have a whole empty plot. So anyway. Yeah. So that empty plot can be used. Mm -hmm. Um. Other things going on in the server. I hit my one year anniversary in two days, uh, May 9th. So it'll be one day from Gotta when get this podcast on the ship. hits. Yeah, I know, right? Oh. And uh, before we get too into this, uh, we're doing construction at my house, ripping out floors and such, and uh, there's going to be noise downstairs, very loud banging, um, lots vibrators. of prostitutes, vibrators, <laughs> saws. Um, <laughs> um, what? <laughs> what kind of construction are you guys doing? <laughs> um, the best kind. <laughs> oh. Construction okay. of new life. Anyway. <laughs> um, <laughs> That, it just sounds like a bad porn movie. It's like, oh, I'm here to fix your pipes. Somebody call a plumber. Hey, what's the pizza guy doing here? Is that uh, the village no. people? Dick in a box. Anyway. Um, <laughs> yes, there's there's going to be a lot of banging. Uh, Hopefully it doesn't pick up too much on the mic, but knowing my microphone, it picks up everything. So Yeah, it definitely seems that way. It picks up everything, <laughs> unlike me. Oh. <laughs> Anyhow. Anyway. Pick up sticks. I mean, pick up sticks. What? Pick up sticks. <laughs> um. uh, other My Insanity news. Uh, we just released uh, on Sunday? Monday? On Monday. Uh, Monday, the Mines, maybe? The My Insanity versus Four Corners uh, Complete the Monument Race for the Wool yeah. uh, video, which was a lot of fun. That was... <laughs> Quite possibly the most fun that I've had in Minecraft in a long time. Yeah, yeah. we destroyed them, but it was fun. Yeah, spoiler uh, cast. Think... If, for those of you that haven't watched it, this is all going to be spoilers, so go watch it if you haven't seen it yet. Links um, down below. Yeah, link in the description uh, for that video. Or if I remember, click the annotation on the screen now. Blah. Um, yeah, we all know not I'm not going to be there. Yeah, it's not going to be there. Um, but. <laughs> Loads of fun. Um, we did mm -hmm. say that we we're going to be doing another round of it because they were missing yep. one of their main people. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get back a hold of them soon here and figure that out. <clears throat> um, so that would be a good thing to do for... Because uh, mm -hmm. it, it was a load of fun doing yeah. uh, that CTM. <laughs> uh, the map that we played on was Direct Fire. Uh, uh, one of the ones by Vetches. Uh, <laughs> Vex. <laughs> Did you do that on purpose? I may have. I'm not sure at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Vex is yeah. um, Vex's direct fire map. That was the one that we yeah. had used, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, it was the same map that we were planning on doing uh, against Team Nova, but that never happened because they were shitty. <laughs> and many, many vile things were typed um, uh, yeah. by me. Now no need to bring up Team Nova, but uh, so my insanity versus Four Corners uh, CTM race for the wool. Just remember, uh, if any of them are listening to this, you're pieces of shit. Oh, anyway, God. enough. Intro. Okay. <laughs> um, 
probably a, a favorite moment for the entire game round. What had to have been the TNT wall. <laughs> that, uh, yeah. I don't. I still. I, I, I have they posted theirs. I don't know if they posted theirs. I checked it I a, couple, uh, a little bit ago. They haven't. They don't have that up yet now. Okay. Um. um I really want to. I can't wait to watch their video from their perspective <laughs> of it because I want to know what they were talking about when they were building the TNT wall. <laughs> um, to give you guys the uh, paint a picture for you, uh, they created the direct fire is two lanes that are mirrors of each other, and so you can shoot bows and arrows across the way. Um, there's also several places where you can do TNT cannons, and or you can build your own if you had to. Yeah, Honestly. or you can build your own. And uh, so there is a lot of TNT available for you guys for you to use towards these TNT cannons. And at some point, we were shooting across over them, and they were trying to progress farther in. And they started constructing a wall out of TNT blocks. To cover them from arrow fire. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and at the I, moment, I think I was actually building a TNT cannon off somewhere. Yeah, you're... So, um, I, uh, above shoots and ladders, I think was where you were. Long story short, oh, yeah. Brave got a bucket of lava. Azrael shot through the lava. We set the wall on fire. Ba boom, ba boom, ba boom. We basically won the end. Yeah, best it was, it, match ever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were laughing for probably a solid minute after that, just like yeah. nonstop laughter for how amazing that ended up being. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, loads of fun and definitely lessons learned. Don't build walls out of TNT. Uh, yeah. Which is also why I haven't put any TNT... There goes Banjo's Vibrator. Uh, uh, I haven't put any no. TNT on the uh, pirate ship. The original design <laughs> had tons of TNT everywhere. I was all, I'm not fucking doing that because... <laughs> oh, are you using the uh, Super Pirate Battle Royale? <laughs> no, it's... Or whatever uh, it is. Fifth Rate Frigate was the original design. I don't mm. know. I can't remember who the original designer was. Um... But uh, when I complete it, I'll put that information in my video. But uh, also, other server news: uh, Mind City the FPS LPs are planned. We're planning on doing mm -hmm. videos for the Hidden, uh, Trouble in Terrace Town, if possible, and other, you know, either Gary's Mod mods or other Steam yeah, games that are FPS. Yeah. Yeah, uh, so at this point in time, the only thing that's holding us back for uh, Trouble in Terrace Town is that Grave and Azrael don't have the Arma 2 stuff. So, um, mm -hmm. Which seems weird that it requires two well, different... Well, no, it, it uses the textures. It's kind of like how uh, Hidden is a Half-Life 2 mod. It uses the textures from Half-Life Yeah, and we just gotta find those textures yeah, and download them like we did for Hidden. More yeah. Or less. yeah, that's basically that's how before I got Arma 2, I think I actually played Arma 2 for a little bit, but before I had Arma 2, I just downloaded the textures. So it's not really that hard to do, but we're getting off on a tangent. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, other <laughs> games, I, there's not really a whole lot of games that we have on our list for plans for FPSs. Mm. Um, it's yeah. mostly those two are the ones that uh, had the most interest in. At the moment, at least. I, oh, what I about Farm Simulator? Huh? Hmm? Farm Simulator? 2012? No. No. <laughs> um, Complete joke. Anyway. <laughs> I would hope so. I, I've, I've seen some pretty hilarious LPs for it. <laughs> uh, have you seen the song for it? No. It's pretty good. I, I, ha I have. On, on, a, on a tangent, though, related to Farm, uh, well, there was a song, the Sexy and I Know It uh, song. Somebody yes. did a uh, group did a parody of... Uh, I'm I farm I'm farming and I grow it or something along those lines. Oh wow! God. That I I watched the entire thing and I'm just, I shook my head that I managed <laughs> to get through it, but it was something else. Not in something a good else way. Indeed. Anyways, <laughs> uh, on to honorable mentions. Uh, there's actually quite a few this week. Uh, Minecraft Pocket Edition hits 10 million sales, uh, which is pretty awesome. To put that in perspective, Pocket Edition costs six ninety nine in U.S. dollars, so that's mm -hmm. seventy million dollars uh, in sales on the Pocket Edition. And I only ever played the free version, and I absolutely hated it, so I don't know how. Yeah, play it. Pockets. It's um, good if that's what you start with. I'm guessing if that's the, the only thing you know. They want to spend the yeah. twenty bucks for the full version, or More they or less, don't have yeah. a good enough PC to be able to play it. 
play the full version yeah. on PC. Now, I do um, have to give them props because they did turn an entirely computer-based game into an iPhone game. Yeah. So yeah. That's, that's pretty I impressive. I imagine that it would be probably a lot easier on a full-size tablet. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Way back when yeah. I messed around with uh, the Pocket Edition on an iPad, It this was a while back whenever it was first coming out. But even still, I I couldn't play it for more than five minutes without just getting pissed off at it. <laughs> yeah, it, it, yeah, it's, it's tedious. No it. <laughs> uh, another more Twitter accounts have been hacked. Uh, there's Woo! two different ones. <laughs> We've been covering all of these because, frankly, it's hilarious. Uh, e mm-hmm. Online tweets about Bieber, uh, Justin Bieber, saying that uh, Bieber's coming out of the closet. And has a exclusive Delta. interview. Uh, what? And the reactions I have seen so many of the reactions for it, and it's freaking priceless. <laughs> um, uh, the, one of them, the the my favorite is uh, Selena Gomez tells E she will be fully supporting Justin on this coming out. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> uh, ex- <laughs> the the original tweet was exclusive Justin Bieber to E Online. I'm gay. I am. I'm a gay. <laughs> I was just wow. Um, I hope that that shattered a lot of people's dreams. <laughs> I really do. No, it probably made a bunch of people's dreams real, Banjo. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, other account Moving that got on. hacked was the Onion. Uh, if you guys do, you, uh, do you guys know who the Onion is? Yeah. Oh yeah. What, okay. Uh, for those that don't know, the Onion is a fake news organization that makes the most hilarious stuff uh they got also hacked by syrian electronic army uh the same one what hmm? which the hacking them is kind of counterproductive well no it's like i mean if you click on the link uh i'll put i'll put the picture hopefully in the uh video it's the fry fr- it's fry from uh, futurama with not, yeah. sure face. not not sure if hacked or serious <laughs> yeah it's hard to tell with them because they're pretty ridiculous sometimes yeah, yeah. exactly yeah. um mm. but they they hacked them and then the honestly the onions response was very hilarious they were uh they tweeted out uh that uh they changed their password to onion man 77 uh <sighs> for security reasons <laughs> like okay. in, in their in their typical fashion was how just how they presented it um the onion was uh, a good, the onion was a good sport about it they know that that yeah. uh syrian electronic army was uh having fun mm-hmm. i guess uh though a bunch of their tweets were anti-semitic so yeah. but oh well anyways lol this is so fun jews suck yeah <laughs> I don't know how to tra- I, did, I have nothing to transition from that statement into the next one other than EA sucks uh, EA is taking the helm of LucasArts to develop new Star Wars games um, there are restrictions as far as what they can produce they can only produce console games uh, Disney has retained the rights for all mobile uh, mobile games for uh, cell phones and tablets and such uh, as well as online uh, like doc- browser based games uh, but EA Plus can nice. develop uh, console-based games for LucasArts, so uh, expect them to be frequent and shitty. <laughs> yeah, Moving I was going to say, yeah. basically, it, it, this is going to end badly. It's a good <laughs> thing that LucasArts is going, you know, kind of, again, but not Except EA. it's not LucasArts anymore, it's EA. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, EA. Exactly. It's... Well, the idea behind it. Yeah. No. But it's, it's, it's just the fact that it's EA doing it now. It's no. EA making Star Wars games. LucasArts has nothing to do with it. LucasArts yep. is gone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. LucasArts. Didn't they file for bankruptcy or something? No, Disney just closed them. That was it. Mm. Disney <laughs> just closed it. Well, uh, you're not I wonder if they by had that. any warning, honestly. Probably not. Probably not. Yeah. Just, well, hey, yeah, yeah Disney, Disney buying out... <laughs> Lucasfilm. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess uh, I guess that would be the only warning. But meh. Anyhow, speaking of <laughs> terrible things, Windows 8 hits 100 million dollar, not 100 million dollar, 100 million licenses sold. I don't understand. Uh, so anybody much more likes. than 100 million dollars. <laughs> yeah, much more than 100 million dollars. Though I have to honestly say, 
I'm sure probably 50 million of those licenses at least are to devices that are being sold in stores. Yeah. Like already like, boxed uh, units of PCs yeah. and, uh, and laptops. Are well, maybe it, yeah. maybe not so much PCs, but more like tablets, because everyone's going tablet now. Don't know why. Oh, no. Every PC you buy at a store will have Windows 8 on it now. They're yeah. not... Oh, no. Yeah. yeah. Well, like, there goes my idea of scrapping this computer and buying a pre-built one. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, I mean no, don't I, buy a pre-built. What are you talking about? <laughs> No, I it honestly Windows 8 makes me want to learn how to upgrade my own computer. That's how terrible it is. And somehow they I I don't know. I, I it just blows my mind. <laughs> I got a new laptop through my school and uh, it has Windows 8 on it. I have no problem with it as long as I'm using the touch screen. As soon as you try to do anything else, you know, like you normally would, it pisses me off. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. You got a laptop through your school. What kind of rich school are you going to? <laughs> I I had to pay for it. Oh, okay. That makes a little Part more of sense. It. Anyways, okay. it's still anyway, um, anyway. Yeah, actually, I got I to gotta give them kudos. The touchscreen, it's very well laid out. Yeah, very it's, well. Windows 8 is designed for touch. That's all there is yeah. to it. Now, my they dad... They dumped down a lot of things, though. Yeah, my dad got a touchscreen computer, like um, all-in-one kind of thing, e. and it came with a mouse and keyboard. And I'm thinking, why did it come with a mouse and keyboard as a touchscreen? Try because. using the mouse and keyboard; it sucks. <laughs> 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 that is the only explanation I can give to you. It wow. sucks. Yeah. Well. It, and speaking it's... of sucking, the Xbox 720. Uh, it's. Actually, this is a good detail about Xbox yeah. 720. Uh, Xbox 720 is expected to not require always on it on internet access. Um, Nothing we can really say about that. There well, is... except for you know we had complained about it whenever they <laughs> but... obviously heard us and thought, oh my gosh, these three random people that we don't care about at all have an opinion. Let's do exactly <laughs> what they say. You know, if everything worked like that, I need money. Hey, somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Beat me to it. <laughs> Banjo, banjos is I need sex. Uh, <laughs> I need hookers. Uh, <laughs> well, that useless. goes back to I need money. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Banjo oh, needs hookers. Oh, money. Need money. I could get hookers with money, so money would be really nice. <laughs> how does yeah. this? How do these conversations always end up back on Asriel? <sighs> It's all Asriel. I, I uh -huh. say it, but it's about you. <laughs> yeah, it's all <laughs> Asriel. <laughs> okay, this one I, I don't I didn't want to put it in a discussion topic because I didn't want to spend a lot of time on it, but this absolutely was hilarious to me. A former CIA official breaks his silence about experience with extraterrestrials and how what? the government cover ups extraterrestrials <laughs> and the whole culture behind government secrecy and all this and that. Um, the guy apparently has a terminal illness. He's about he's gonna be dying in the next year or so. So he wanted to share all of his knowledge um, before he passed away and um, he talked, and he was, he, I guess he was in the CIA around 1958 during, uh, Eisenhower's days, uh, as hmm. president and during the whole, you know, area 51 and, you know, black <laughs> helicopters or whatever. Um, uh, wow. so I didn't get too in detail with the, the, it didn't really read a whole lot of it. It was just more of, okay, this is somebody that's actually coming out and saying something that aliens exist. Um, well, what? <laughs> <laughs> um, all I have to say about this is that the guy in the article looks delirious. Yeah, he, he, he they they even mentioned that that he, while he is you know cognitive and he is, uh, you know sitting upright and everything, you can tell that he's sickly, like you can tell that he's going to be dying. <laughs> so the, it kind of is like questioning, you know, okay, is he actually delirious? Is he? you know, have Alzheimer's. <laughs> but, yeah. I mean, apparently it's credible enough that, you know, UFO people are just like, oh, yeah, this guy's, this guy's our, what we've been needing. But, <laughs> do we believe it? No, probably not. No, There's right. really nothing we can say about this. Um, this one I tossed in because I thought it was hilarious. Um, 
I found it on some other... Oh, I did a news search on Google, and there was a button that said new YouTube News, uh, where I got a couple of the topics, and this one <laughs> popped up. Leonard Nimoy versus Zachary Quinto, Spock versus Spock, uh, Audi commercial, which was quite hilarious. Okay. <laughs> um, it's basically an Audi commercial that Zachary Quinto is the you know new Spock for the Star Trek movies. Uh, Leonard mm. Nimoy, the original from when uh, Shatner was Captain Kirk, mm. and sh- uh, Nimoy drives an outdated uh, Mercedes, and Zachary Quinto play drives a souped-up Audi that's supposed to represent the uh, Star Trek Enterprise. It's quite quite the hilarious commercial. The two have very good chemistry <laughs> in the commercial. Um, I've got to say that Audis are probably the most overpriced cars you can ever get. Yes, yes, you can. Probably. Yes. Um, but I thought the commercial was hilarious. So if you guys get a chance and can spare a few minutes, go watch it. Cause it's, it's like a four-minute video. Yeah, it's it's a hilarious commercial. Um, on to the full discussion topics. Uh, Wolfenstein. Wolfenstein. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I was amazed to see Wolfenstein in any sort of uh, news. <laughs> Wolfenstein: The New Order is expected to release wasn't, in late 2013. Wasn't Wolfenstein like one of the first FPS games? Pretty yeah. much. Yeah. It's right up there with Doom. Yeah. Yeah, Doom was the first. Wasn't Wolfenstein like second or something? Yeah, pretty close. Yeah, yeah. I don't know about second, but it was pretty close. Yeah, second, it, they were third, both fourth, very early. Um, yeah. yeah. Wolfenstein, Doom, um, yeah, I don't remember what other games. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, uh, Duke Nukem. Ah. Uh, oh yeah. yeah. Duke yeah. Nukem was another early FPS game. Yeah. Mario. Um. Uh. Anyway. Yeah. Anyhow. So I, th- yeah. I thought it was kind of neat to have Wolfenstein. Uh, yeah. Basically a revamp. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone thought that Diablo three took a long time to come out. Look at this guy. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it's kind of neat because they just uh, they released the whole Duke Nukem thing, which again took forever if you think about it that way. Yeah. How I think that game the, lot took like twenty years or something. Yeah, something along the lines. If I remember right, they restarted making it like three times. And several different companies. Yeah. So um, that game was just absolutely plagued, but uh, Wolfenstein: The Next Chapter. Um, it doesn't have a whole lot of details about when it's being released, as far as what what time of year. I mean, other than late, so who yeah. knows? It could be uh, December when it ends up coming out, and mm-hmm. it doesn't really say what sort of time period it's taking in. If it's still taking nineteen uh, forties. Mm. Yeah, from the well, original. Nonetheless, you know that nobody. This game probably will sell like crazy as soon as it comes out. Just oh yeah, absolutely. It it's is. Wolfenstein. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, it's just like we were talking about. Um, what was it last week with the Nintendo and its, you know, few franchises that it just keeps redoing. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Know, People those games will continue still... buying those. Yeah, exactly. It's it, you're using a recognized franchise um, and just doing different things with it. Now, I'm mm-hmm. afraid that Wolfenstein might be too old for a lot of the new gamers because, mm-hmm. like, well, the I... last the last Wolfenstein game was 2009. Was it really? Yeah. Oh, I thought um, I thought. That, oh, hmm. How many Wolfenstein games have there been? Five or six, I think. Really? Oh, um, I only thought there was the first. Hmm. The, okay, then that, that completely kills my statement. <laughs> uh, the last Wolfenstein was, yeah, it just titled Wolfenstein was released in 2009. Um, the one before that was a multiplayer standalone uh, titled Wolfenstein Enemy Territory. I played a lot of that game. <laughs> um, so much so that I was in various clans and was a uh, uh, high up, high ranking person in the clan. Because I played it so much. <laughs> nice. And I had friends that were <laughs> that were the server owners. And I had um, friends back then. <laughs> I had friends back then. Uh, Enemy Territory was released back those in two thousand and three. Uh, so six years between those two, and then four years between uh, Wolfenstein and New Order. So not hmm. too bad. Yeah. I thought it was. Um, uh, should it'll be, be interesting. One it, it'll it'll be. 
yeah, it'll be interesting to look into. It'll be it'll probably end up being pretty like pretty uh pretty good and worth paying for um things that aren't worth paying for having to watch v videos on youtube uh, oh I, this thing has been circulating for a while and everybody's expecting it to happen uh youtube is planning on launching uh a pay to watch pay to watch channels um subscription cost roughly two dollars a month they're saying initially um well. for I think That's they not said too bad. it's not too bad, but it's still like it goes against what YouTube is. It's like yeah. YouTube yeah. is free to watch well, everything. Um, remember, remember that YouTube isn't YouTube anymore. It's Google. Yeah, that's True. the unfortunate thing. But, yeah. Um, but YouTube switching over to this pay to watch, um, they're saying that it's going to start out at two dollars a month uh, and should originally, hopefully, start with fifty channels that are going to be participating. And it's mm -hmm. going to be uh, channels that produce premium content, um, ones that are, you know, more, uh, for TV example, shows. We'll, yeah, TV shows. For example, we'll say um, Halo Forward Unto Dawn. Yeah. Um, uh, what is it? By Rocket Jump did it with Freddie W. Um, uh, video Game High School. Mm. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, actually, if it's, you if know it's what? videos like those, those I can I can kind of understand. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, well, it's an actual series. Yes. Yeah. yeah, there's one thing that they've said in this article. Um, let's see. YouTube, we're looking to into creating a subscription, subscription platform that could bring even more great content to YouTube for our users to enjoy and provide partners with another vehicle to regenerate revenue for their content. Now, I know that YouTube you, uh, recently really dipped in partner... Um, revenue so partners are making like a tenth of what they used to so it's probably a good thing for them because then youtube is making money and also giving more money to the partners themselves hey, if they want to pay me a pile of money i'm all for that <laughs> but remember gotta sound like the greedy ass that... the time yeah well, also remember though grave that you have produced quality content <laughs> In order to receive those uh, buckets well, of money. Well, yeah. I don't know, sometimes. <laughs> yeah, Grave, I don't think you post nearly uh, frequently enough in order to... Hey, uh, hey, I got school. This. Deal with it. Hey, yeah, you so know, I. I, have, I have a 40-hour-a-week job. Yeah. Now, um, Azrael, he has a legitimate excuse right there. Oh, well, yeah. Well, Grave I have does work have and school. Fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, but oh, I'd, I'd also like to point out that as far as regular LP episodes... For me, for the server, my episode 51 is going to be my one-year anniversary. So that means that I haven't released an LP episode once a week for a year. <laughs> so, uh, but that doesn't include all the pranks and all of the yeah, group yeah. videos and stuff like that. Little stuff, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Um, but, yeah, I don't produce quality content. I know that. <laughs> Um, which is probably Far why from. I think our uh, we have about sixty eight cents. <laughs> mm. You're right in the, bank. In the dough. Right. I, mm, Asriel, Asriel, I can tell you for one thing, I am the main revenue generator here. Right, right. You here. mean you watch the videos a million times? No, no, no. I'm the I'm the person that I'm the I'm the glue that binds us all together. I'm the, the constant. No, I'm watch. Yeah. Is that I saying? don't know about that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Because all he you does think is what talk you about want. cocks and banging yeah. his head, bang his head against the wall. Yeah. I don't think you know. I don't think you understand English if you think that that's all I talk about. <laughs> okay then. <Yeah. laughs> Anyways, uh, so this one was freaking weird as hell, and I wanted to talk about it. Um, apparently. There, it's possible now to take DNA from found objects. For example, you're walking down a street and chewing a piece of gum, and you just toss the gum down into the street. Somebody else comes over, scrapes it up, puts it in a little sealed container, and can use your DNA in order to create a 3D portrait of your face. It's a pretty good thing for stalkers. That's a pretty good thing for anyone trying to find, well, anyone. It's Honestly. That's very, 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 very creepy. Yeah, yeah, that too. Um, so, in other words, if this ever becomes, you know, a really largely supported thing, don't do anything wrong or else the police have your face. 
<laughs> Just don't spit out your gum on the street. Seriously. There, we now have complete <laughs> motivation not to spit gum on the street. <laughs> yeah. I got. I gotta say that the walkway going in front of my school is basically gum. It's basically no. all gum. We can have pictures of all of your faces now. Great. Um, what? <laughs> that is kind of just back on the whole topic of it being interesting, though. That I'm kind of curious. I want to actually look into that and see what they're using to be able to do that, because <laughs> it's. <laughs> It's interesting to me. <laughs> I don't know. Now they can never scream. Um, it does say down at the, at the lower in the article um, that the portraits that the person makes uh, are approximations of what people would look like at approximately the age of 25. And that typically they have a family resemblance uh, mm. to well. people, but uh, nobody has quite recognized themselves yet. Uh, Nonetheless, it's still, you know, the fact of the matter is that it's still possible, it, it, and they're it, proving that. Yeah, it is. It mm. is damn creepy. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Speaking of creepy, how many times will Pyro have to go to the bathroom? What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Out of context. <laughs> that's. Not exactly how we wanted to enter into this, into this discussion. Uh, but, but okay. My, my, I, I know we shouldn't be talking about another Minecraft server people, but whatever. We talk about Minecraft all the time. Yeah. Well, uh, well. Minecraft UHC Season 10 just started. And uh, mm -hmm. instead of doing picking teams, they did random teams of three. Uh, Red Etho did some redstone and made a random team generator so that each team has three people. Uh, the teams are as follows. Team Sobriety is Avidya, Michael, and Kurt J. Mack. Uh, team Blame the Generic Beef. If you can't figure it out already. Uh, blame the Controller, <laughs> Generic B, and Vintage Beef. Uh, team Uppercat is B O Doc M, and Zisto. Uh, team Pimp is Pause and Pause, Mech Gamer, and Pyro. Uh, team Man is Anderzel, Milby, and Nebris. I gotta see these are pretty pretty uh, creative titles here. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> team sobriety, and that's about it. Upper, where did Uppercat come from? I didn't, I don't know. Uh, team Uppercat. I don't know where that no came clue. from. Uh, team Pep, which is Pulsars Junior, Packrat, and Etho. Mm -hmm. uh, and team Good G B Good G B J. What's oh, that? Good, good blowjob. <laughs> Uh, is Badge, Good, and Jay Sano. Jay Sano is this is his first year doing or first season really? doing UHE. Yeah, he just, he's never been able to do it before. Hmm. Um, I thought he was in like one season or another. Nope, he has been in none. Wow. Um, well, he hasn't really even been active very much on Minecraft up until you know the past probably three months. Uh, yeah, I guess he started so. doing more videos. Uh, he and Good are doing hmm. a multiplayer series uh, in Inferno Mines, I think. Yes, yeah, I, think I saw that. But, um, um, <laughs> Good's reaction, it was kind of funny, because Good's reaction was, when he got his team sorted, he saw that Jay Santa was in it first, and then Badge, and <laughs> he was all, well, great, I'm not winning. <laughs> he has um, uh, who who so, else said that? Pause said that also. Oh, yeah. Well, because it's, oh, it's, yeah. it's MC Gamer and Pyro on his team. Yeah, So yeah. Hmm. Uh, I had a couple of questions that I set up uh, for discussing this. Uh, mm -hmm. Have you guys all watched episode one so far? Yeah, uh, yeah. I have. Okay. Uh, so who do you think will win? Uh, uh, not Team Drunk slash Team Uppercat. <laughs> well, I'm not asking um, who you think so. will win. I'm Doc Zisto you... and B O are all drunk. First, first episode. Anyway, um... oh, I need to go watch their video then. <laughs> <laughs> Personally, I'm gonna say probably Andrew Milby, and Nebris. <laughs> Just a guess. Mm, I don't know. Uh... 
I'd like to point out that Kurt J. Mack took no damage all of last season. Oh, team sobriety then. Team yeah. sobriety. <laughs> that, was, that was actually a question that I was originally going to put in here. Will Kurt J. Mack take damage? <laughs> um, uh, uh, team to beat. Team to beat would definitely why? be... Hey, uh, let, me, I, let me answer, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> no one cares about you. I, I'm saying blame the generic beef. Uh, BTC, GB, and VB. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think I'm they're going to win. Because B- BTC and Generic B are both very crafty people, and Vintage yeah. B is, yeah. you know, a good follower. It, it, he knows what he does. It's going to be hard to tell in the first episode. Yeah, yeah, well, that's why I'm saying we do it, uh, you know, why we discuss this. Yeah. Because <laughs> I mean, by um, next week when we're doing this podcast, they should be up to probably episode four. Episode three or four, so we'll have a yeah. better idea. <laughs> so, um, But anyway, uh, Team to Beat. Team to Beat. Um, definitely Team Pep. Everyone wants to kill Etho. <laughs> yeah, so, I have. I yeah. I kind of have to a de- to a degree uh, agree with that because Etho is always the one that uh, people have a hard time. Like even when they did the uh, the iron fights all over my all over the Minecraft server, it, mm-hmm. it always seemed like Etho was the one to beat in those. <laughs> yeah, um, it's it's just I, because I his, personally. His... Hmm? Sorry. Can... Benjo okay, go. well, I'll talk then. <laughs> um, I was going to say they'll probably win, except for the fact that both of the other people on there took a pile of damage. Oh, yeah, I think he was down to like three and a half. Yeah. That's true. I will be right back. Um, anyway. But uh, also, so... I mean, you have to think about how much damage, um, you know, the people on Good's team took in the last season. You know, Badge got down to three hearts. Vin- uh pause on pause got down to I think five uh, vintage beef got down to three and a half or four hearts so but none of them died didn't they no nobody died the, all four yeah. of them ended up uh, making it to Glidia and all four of them survived it yeah um, yeah that's but right. I'm they, saying they they, they, they did all go down to a lot of health um, that's I'm true. trying to remember that is true. Paul Soros jr I think is down to four and a half hearts after the first episode yeah, I, for, I forgot to go check to see uh, what everybody's health was at before we did the podcast. I was thinking about it, but well, anyway, um, yeah, definitely, definitely Team Pep because uh, someone just needs to slap Etho subscribers, <laughs> Ethiopians. Yeah, Ethiopians, uh, because whenever he dies in anything. Everybody like goes and hates yeah. Everybody, on whoever everybody did goes on goes ape shit and just blames yeah whoever just ended up killing him and it's just like oh Etho didn't have a chance. It was like it's a fucking competition. Yeah, and Etho's a pretty good PVPer, so it's pretty hard to believe that he didn't have a chance. Anyway. Exactly. <laughs> uh, who will die first? Someone on Team Drunk. No, on Upper Cat. Yeah. I don't. I, I don't know. I don't think so. I think it's going to be. We'll say, we'll say you have to pick three. So you're you're gonna say pick three. You're gonna pick all of Team Drunk. Not all of them. I'm okay. gonna say definitely mm, Beetle dies first, or Pyro, or Jay Sano. So Jay Sano, Pyro, B-O-O, or B Pyro. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm back, by the way. Okay. Uh, we, we just moved on to the next question. Uh, who I, do you think yeah. is going to die first? Um, who was it that took so three. much damage? Paul Soros. Oh, uh, no. I, so there was someone who took more than him, if I remember right. No, I thought Paul Soros is down to like four and a half Didn't or something. Didn't Badge go down to like three? No, bad, nobody on... Uh, I think the only damage that was on uh, Goot's team was... I think two people took half a heart. Huh. I was uh, thinking somebody t- had taken a pile of damage aside from uh, Paul. Hmm. Uh, I don't recall. I know there were some that were at there was a one at six and one at seven and a half, and then I think Paul was at four and a half or something. Yeah. Um. um and then Good and Jaysano are both at nine and a half. Uh, I don't really. I can't really make a good guess on who will die first, though, because. Well, we're not I, saying that you have to be accurate. When you pick, oh, I know. It's pick, just pick I'm looking people. through the names. Okay, um, I would say possibly MC, um, Paul, because he was at so little life. I think he did actually get to heal a little bit, but, uh, 
Uh, and then third one, just because I'm going to say Michael. Uh, I, I actually, I'm going to, I'm taking one from each of you guys. I'm taking Michael, uh, Pyro, and uh, Packrat. Hmm. I yeah. think. I, th- I think Packrat's going to die. It's possible that Packrat could die first. <laughs> it's very well possible, yeah. Um, I'm I'm seriously thinking that um, Jay Sano's going to die first, because this is his first UHC. Yeah, but he's he's managed not to take... I, the, the first 30 minutes are usually, you can kind of tell, um, because... So you get a hint, at least. Yeah, well, but I mean, he didn't take any fall damage. In his first, in his first thirty minutes of playing, I think that's probably a good sign for him. Whereas, you um, know, if it was us, I would take fall damage for the first three seconds, probably. Cause yeah, I'm just not paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> um, which team do you think is underrated? Um, I'm gonna go out. How go ahead and say Team Sobriety. Yeah, me too. Because <laughs> I, it's Avidia, Michael, and Kurt J. Mack. I mean, come on. <laughs> I don't think anybody expects them to win. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, I'm not... I can't uh, say this for a fact, but considering Bandu keeps saying that Uppercat's drunk, I'm going to say they're underrated, because you don't know. They might pull something, you know? Yeah, they, have, they a, might. have a drunk stupor and then pull something, but it's it's still something. <laughs> Yeah, they could. They Sobriety could, has to um, happen at some point. Now, are they like, are they drinking as they go, or did they get they're drinking drunk? as they go? Oh, okay. Like, I think Doc has a like three bottles of wine to go through. Um, <laughs> B double O and Good obviously drink a lot, so they're they're doing that. And then Zisto just is Zisto, so you know, bottles up. <laughs> yeah, Zisto does drink a lot. Not not a great deal, but. I do remember him more doing than you a, should during UHC. I I, th- I do remember him doing uh, videos talking about uh, coffee, though. <laughs> yeah, and, and why a French press is such a great thing. <laughs> I remember those from a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I think Team Sobriety is probably going to be the most un- is is definitely an underrated team. But I have to agree. You know, a, a team that's entirely drunk uh, would definitely be. I mean, first episode they weren't drunk. Drunk. They were intoxicated probably tipsy at most Mm. um but doc a couple of times took is doc down at all i think he is i think he is like down (laughs) heart um but he i think he took damage not entirely sure again but i think he took damage because he was tipsy and fell too far Mm. um unless i mean they would be you know you would never expect them to win but you know there's also the fact some people perform better that way. You never know. <laughs> yeah, that's that's true. I mean, look at all the drunk college students. Anyway. Yeah, I was going to say, Grave, are you saying that you perform better when intoxicated? I wouldn't know. I actually don't drink. <laughs> I, was, I thought you were going to say, I wouldn't know. I've actually, I haven't had sex. That was the one that I was waiting for. I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry. Okay, that, that's I'm where so- you were going. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> what did you I think I meant by perform? That. <laughs> I, when I say obviously it flipping patties at Mickey D's <laughs> I see where you're going with that one Banjo hmm. yeah after that long discussion we had about Mickey D's the other day I'm, I'm <laughs> anyhow <laughs> Grave's gonna go toss the lettuce <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm good and the last question this is just a random thing that I came up with how many times will Pyro have to go to the bathroom nine <laughs> Did you just both um, say nine? No, Bandu did. I'm okay. saying it won't be him, but somebody else will. No, Pyro's going to go to the bathroom. He's the tiniest bladder of all. Um, he had to go to the bathroom like four or, f- or like four or five times in the last season, I think. Um, I did. I do want to say that I saw somebody's comment saying that he only went three times. Well, then they're wrong. <laughs> How do you Again, know? I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. Oh, you know, he's got spy cameras everywhere. Um, <laughs> In Pyro's bathroom? That's kind of creepy. Yes. Well, yes. who doesn't? What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm concerned. <laughs> and How does he not notice all of the cameras, then? Oh, they're hidden. Don't worry. All the, how do you hide all of the cameras? <laughs> Let's see, hold on, hold on, hold on. How many subscribers does Pyro have? 
no, 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 no. It's all one camera. What is what Everybody is just logs on to that, the same. That would make more sense, but that's not nearly as fun. So it's all on my website. Don't worry. Um, I can send it the link. Pyro's Pyro Puncher. Pyro Puncher. Yeah. Anyhow. <laughs> For some reason I thought it was something weird. Pyro Puncher. Okay, how many... F uh, Pyro has 249,555 subscribers. That many uh, pinhead cameras. Meaning he has cameras. over 200,000... Or, yeah, 200,000 cameras in his bathroom. Okay, so They're all pinhead pin cameras, by the way. <laughs> Sorry. Some of them are pointing out... I forgot out to post. pause the video that was loading on his channel. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay. GG. Uh, GG. Wow. <laughs> Note to self, mute Google Chrome <laughs> <laughs> when doing podcasts. Yeah, I'm surprised that's the first time we've had that issue, actually. No, I've, I've actually been pretty careful about <laughs> when yeah. I'm doing videos uh, or do, recording the podcast. Um, <sighs> I hear typing topics. noises. Oh, God. I hear typing yes. noises. Yes, you do. Why is Banjo making typing noises? That's fine. Anyways, uh, I don't have any other topics. Anything? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> who put that on there? I don't know. Good, Good job, Banjo. Good job, Banjo. Apparently, it was anonymous bat. <laughs> I logged freaking in. Why is that always like that? <laughs> I don't know. <sighs> Graves are cracking. Apparently, um, so Google, yeah. you have some pretty messed up, messed up freaking animals. Anyway. That's I'm thinking little, folks. That's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's probably about it. Um, a little bit oh, shorter wow. than normal. A lot shorter than normal. Uh, but I thought we were going to be going on these topics for a little bit longer. Then again, nah. I, I had another discussion topic in there, but I ended up removing it because I kind of wanted Sig to be in on it, and he wasn't available. And Well, what was it? Just so we can... Uh, know, it was speculate. Video Games and Depression. Um, there was a video that got posted on... Uh, GameSpot about it uh, and whether or not uh, video games can cause depression or worsen depression or if video games are a solution to depression. Yeah, it... Hmm. I mean, we can still talk about it. I, sure. I, I have nothing to say about that. <laughs> I, I have to say my personal experience. I mean, I'm, I'm older than you guys, so kind of more things, different things to have to worry about because you guys both live at home. Uh, mm -hmm. no, significant, no significant other. Um, I'm not doing yeah, that. Yeah, thanks as a, for rubbing that one in. I'm not doing that as, a, <laughs> as, as to like jab at you guys. Uh... Um, but it's, it's a completely different sort of thing when you have bills to worry about, you have uh, other people in your life that you're worried about, um, jobs, yeah. obligation, family obligations, stuff like that. Um, so me personally, I, I, I haven't been, I've never been diagnosed with depression, but I hate doctors, so I don't know that I would ever go to one <laughs> uh, to see if I am di uh, could be diagnosed with depression. For and that's for one reason, one reason alone. I do not want to have to take pills. Uh, I don't. I hate pills. Um, well, you're a bubble boy, Banjo, so... No, like, I really hate taking pills. It's, like, a phobia of mine. If I have to take, a like, a ibuprofen, it has to be shoved down my throat. I just... It's a psychological hmm. thing. Grave, don't even go there. Just shut up. What? Hmm. <laughs> I mean, do we even need to make that sort of joke about things getting shoved down Banjo's throat? <laughs> You know, this is a serious psychological issue, and you guys are just shitting all over it like a bucket. Like a... Like what? a bucket? <laughs> I don't... Who sh... <laughs> I do not shit buckets. I take offense to that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know how that bucket thing got in there, but... Uh... I... <laughs> Anyhow, Words fail me. <laughs> I think that's probably where we're gonna end up ending. <laughs> On that lovely note, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for listening. Uh, we'll see you guys next week. Hopefully, we'll try to get uh, Melanator to get on here. 
to discuss things with us. Uh, if you mm -hmm. guys have questions, please leave them as a comment down below, or send us YouTube messages about asking us questions, and if you guys have All discussion ideas, stuff. let us know. Um, final thoughts, Grave. Yeah, and I'm not even gonna. Yeah, fuck Later. <laughs> I'm not well, gonna. You, you know what? Did. I'm not gonna even ask you anymore. I, hey, I'm really I, not. I'll you have something that, eventually. You no, said you that won't. four or five times now. Uh, I know. As... I know when this is episode eleven. Oh, uh, <laughs> I hate you so much, Chris. Anyways, banjo final thoughts. Thank you. Uh, you hate me too, and you love me. Oh, yeah. at the same time. And we want to shove things down your throat. <laughs> Thanks, guys, what? and we'll see you guys next time. Peace. Just not dildos. <laughs>